In this experiment, I'll just be using a water bottle. I drilled three holes vertically on the side to measure the difference of the water pressure when it's filled. When the bottle is filled with water and connected to the earth, we can detect that there is a force present. We know that there is a force present because the water has pressure, weight, and it's being pushed out of the holes. The water cannot create pressure, weight, or push itself without an external force. We can also see that the water is being pushed out of the three holes with three different pressures, showing that there is a pressure gradient. The first hole at the top is experiencing the least amount of pressure from the three because it has the least amount of mass or weight above it pushing down, which causes the water to be pushed out of the hole the shortest distance. The second hole to the bottom is experiencing more pressure than the first hole because it has more mass or weight above it pushing down, therefore the water is being pushed out further. The third hole at the bottom is experiencing the most amount of pressure from the three because it has the most amount of mass or weight above it pushing down, which causes the water to be pushed out the furthest. However, as soon as I release the water bottle into free fall, the pressure gradient or weight column completely vanishes and is no longer pushing the water out of the holes, showing that there isn't a force present. No force in free fall means there's no acceleration.